So, Seattle lost. What about the Chiefs? The Chiefs now know they win. They win the division. And after all, they've beaten the Raiders 18 of the last 20 times. Raiders haven't won an Arrowhead since 1988. This one was over, right? Well, the way it started, certainly true. Raiders punt after three and out. Tamarick Vanover. Tommy, he's one of the best at doing this. Well, he's got great speed and great upper body strength. So once he breaks that first wave, if you don't get, stay in your lanes, he's going to do that to you often. His eighth return in his career, 7-0 Chiefs. And then James Hasty picks off Rich Gannon. He's gone. We've played two minutes and 15 seconds. The Chiefs have not even been on offense, and they lead at 14-0. And so, here comes Derek Thomas. Well, the stunt between the tackle and the end, Derek Thomas going to come inside, the end going to go outside, Leslie O'Neal. You see Gannon step up, a great job of finding the lane. His offensive line does a good job, and just an errant throw by the quarterback as he throws a pick right there to Chris Dishman. So, the Chiefs know that the Raiders' tackles are hurt. They're looking for the sack, and now the Raiders change their game plan. A little screen to Zach Crockett, king of the wild frontier. 12 yards, touchdown, 17-14. Then, look at this shovel pass coming up from Gannon, whoop, inside the vest to Napoleon Coffin, 22 yards. Hey, the Raiders have been down 17-0, they lead 21-17. It's 28-24, Raiders at the half, in a wild one. Third quarter, Chiefs on their own two. This is Kansas City football. Janelle Bennett, 29 yards. And then, Tom, do you think that they like that? Well, and look at the blocking schemes. They aren't doing a whole lot here other than blowing out the guy in front of them. There you saw a little pull by the tackle inside. But most of this is basically just running the football right at the Raiders and allowing the running back to break tackles and get yards. Elvis Gerback. Now you're expecting run. They throw it to Joe Horn. Chiefs 31. Raiders 28. Lock it. Jumps over Horn. And now the Raiders, could they jump over the Chiefs? Look at Tyrone Wheatley. This is, where was, was this with the Giants? Because boom, 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 boom. What a great effort for a touchdown by Tyrone Wheatley. 35, 31. There it is. Minute 34 to go with 38, 35. The Chiefs have the lead. On fourth and 13, get it to Tim Brown. Setting up. Joe Nitton, 38 yards. He missed last week. He makes this week. Good. We're going to overtime. Tied at 38. Chiefs. Well, we're not going to overtime yet. My bad. Third and five. A 10-yard play to Joe Horn and Pete Stoyanovich for the win. 44 yards. Hooked. No good. Now we go to overtime. In overtime. Ex-Chief Chick, uh, ex Kickoff man John Baker has kicked the ball out of bounds three times. So he gives the Raiders great field position. Cannon to Ricky Dudley. The Chiefs don't have the ball. Joe Nedney has tied it. Can he win it? 33 yards. Good! For the first time in the 90s. Although we really aren't in the 90s. The 99 season, the Kansas City Chiefs have lost at home to the Oakland Raiders. And the one time that they needed to beat their ratings, they couldn't do it. The Chiefs' loss puts them out because the Seahawks win the tie break in the AFC West, and it puts Miami in. So Seattle, stunned in the locker room at the Meadowlands, think they're out. Then they watch this game in overtime, a different reaction an hour later. The bottom line is we're in a 12-team tournament for this thing and uh, that's how you do it you got to get in first and then once you're in you got to do some damage and, and the craziest thing is we're, we're going to host a game you go from the depths of despair to euphoria and i mean um i gotta send john gruden who's a good buddy of mine i gotta send him something i didn't get him enough for christmas that was for sure